tuner I had. Little MFJ one. Yeah, the 902. I dissected it. Oh my god, all the MFJ guys are going to go all cracked on me now. I don't care. Anyway, what I'm building here tonight is a four-way antenna switch. With your uh, main or your antenna in. And you're going to have four outputs. Output one, two, three, four. All controlled by a four position switch. So one, two, no. one, two, three, four. So there you go. That's the switch I'm using. I know some people should say maybe you should use ceramic or whatever, but hey. Use what you got, and that's all you got, that's all you use, and that's what I'm going to use. So, uh, anyways, so I got it, the tuner. I still got the two dandy capacitors, though, so I'm planning on uh, doing, uh, building the receiver. And they are great little tuning caps for a, for a receiver, if it goes to build one. If I has the gumption to build one, anyways. Dandy little tuners, tuning capacitors. So... Yeah, that's the idea, uh, and uh, it's just a bunch of SO239 connectors from chassis, old radios, and everything else after scrapping over the years. That's all it is, nothing fancy with it. Drill it out, put a couple of screws, whatever, nuts to hold everything together, and uh, still got the case or the cup cover. It'll go over top of it when she's done, obviously. And there's your uh, switch. Paint her black and she'll be deadly. But anyways, yeah. So, that's what I'm building tonight, is a four-way antenna switcher. Like it or not, that's my next project. So, I'm going to wire her up there now and uh, see how she works. Because I've got a, uh, a few radios that I want to switch in. I've got 485, I've got 2510 up there. i got the, you know, i got my shortwave, AR 8600, 706, 767, and yeah, you might have noticed there's one missing. I traded 1767, uh, the one that don't have any transmit. I traded it for a 706 that has a faulty filter board. So I'm going to be on the lookout for a filter board. If anybody knows where I can get one, let me know. I'll have a, a working a, a 706 on the go. But anyways, getting back to this. i get some wire in her now, wire her up, and uh, see how she performs. I really don't see any reason why it won't perform, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I know there's people out there, oh, you shouldn't do this, no, you shouldn't do that, no, oh, you shouldn't wear stuff like that, blah, 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 well, you know what? Go hang yourself! <laughs> We're going to use this, and that's it. Like it or lump it. I really don't care. Anyways, let's, uh, let's get her wired up and uh, give her a test. See how she works. Like I said, there's no reason why it shouldn't work. Hey, bye. All right, just uh, wired it all up there with some 16 gauge wire. That, uh, that there's my input, and all these four here are all outputs, or inputs and one output, whatever. You can reverse it; doesn't really matter. It'll work either or. So uh, basically, what happens here when you flick your switch? Uh, this will be uh, right here. It'll be uh, number one. Number two, number three, and number four. That's how she works. And I don't know if you can see the contacts here when they're moving right there. You just see the contact there moving. See? Oop, I'm zooming in too quick. Come on, zoom out. Focus! Come on, you can do it. There you go. Go real slow. There you go. See?
See the contact moving there. There you go. Knob for this thing now and uh, give her a try. But uh, yeah, four-way antenna switcher. Just like that. Nothing fancy. If I want it to now, I could even build a little uh, receive preamplifier inside of this if I really wanted to. And uh, use this only for probably receive. I could probably even use it for transmit as well. I just need a relay to switch out the uh, switch out the circuit. But uh, this switch, I can put a switch right here again. And uh, I can actually put a receive preamp in this if I want it to. So, uh, yeah. The 101 different things you can do with, uh, with old equipment. And this is one of them, actually. So, anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. Something, uh, something easy, something simple. And uh, something due to kill off the winter months. Because I don't know about you guys, but uh, winter is really starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Find knob now for uh, for this switch, and she'd be all finished. Give her a give her a, a, a pink job. Spray paint her all black. What do you think? Spray paint her black and uh, re-letter her. Anyway, that's it. Just find a knob and uh, put her together. There, boys. There she is. I'll put the golf back together. At least you know, you need to have the pink job to get rid of all this lettering. That's not going to be needed. I got a nice little gray knob to go on it. So, um, I'll keep the A, B, C, D on the, on the lettering. It matches the switch pretty good. So there we go. Simple, easy to build antenna switch. Much easier than that, except for the other one that I made. <laughs> I <made> just jumpers. <laughs> That's got to be the easiest, but uh, I guess this would be the second easiest. I wouldn't drive a whole lot of power through this thing. Probably 25 watts, 25, 30 watts max. That's about all I'd put in through it. So, I mean, it's good enough for uh, for a chicken band radio or a 2510 or something. But I definitely wouldn't put like a a 767 <laughs> through this <laughs> definitely not anyway guys just thought I'd show you that little video or little switch box I guess make another video out of it so uh, I guess we'll hook her up soon see what she's gonna be like I think she'll be fine but uh, yeah anyways pretty much it enough of that Anyway guys, take it easy and 73.